What's up everyone? My name is Shaylin and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I don't know what's in the air today. I think it's because it's the first like almost 80 degree weather day today, but my energy is just like outrageous. So I'm sorry if I come across annoying, but like I am still hyper. Yes, you saw the title of this video. Today is another how to hemiplegia series video. And it is also a part two to a video that I've already made before. It's gonna be part two of my bunch of stuff video. If you saw number one, you know it's basically like all of my things that don't really fit into like a specific category that I have tricks that I do with one hand. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I'll put it in a card in this corner, I think it is. So you can go watch that after this video or before or whatever. Um, but yeah, basically you're just gonna follow me around today and I'm gonna show you a bunch of stuff that I do <laughs> a bunch of stuff. You're gonna follow me around and I'm gonna show you a bunch of stuff that I do with one hand. Hence the title, bunch of stuff. First things first, this is a very silly one. You guys might think I'm kidding, but just take a second and ask yourself if you only had one arm that worked or one arm in general, if you're an amputee, how would you clap? I would just like you to reflect on that for a second because I didn't realize that that would be an obstacle that I would have to go through um, until I was in an audience and I was like, oh my God, everybody's clapping. How do I clap? <laughs> didn't have a clue. So basically, this is obviously a very silly one, but it would make sense if you have like a decent size hand. This doesn't really work for me because I have very small hands. It might not look like it because my nails are very long right now, but like that's not a great sound though. Like you don't really get much sound unless maybe you have a big hand or maybe if you have lotion on, but an alternative is <laughs> slapping your leg. That always works. I usually go for that one especially if I'm wearing like a dress or shorts or something like that. It sounds pretty similar to normal clapping, which brings me to the second one. You could just hit your other arm or hand, which looks the most normal. I also, if I don't have pants on, if I have a long sleeve on, I would go for it is, <laughs> obviously that one looks the worst because it looks like you're literally slapping yourself in the face, which you are. It's not that bad, but it is the weirdest looking one. So I don't recommend that one, but, or definitely works the best. We're gonna move into the bathroom for this one. Like I've said before, the um, fan in my bathroom is quite loud. So I apologize for the sound if you can't hear me very well. That is why. The first thing I wanted to show you guys is band-aids. How I put band-aids on with one hand because that is a hard one to figure out, honestly. But I'm gonna show you how I put a band-aid on my finger. I think you guys will get the gist of it to show you the finger, so. I'm just gonna do a small one, the smallest one I can find because fingers are small. So you have your band-aid. Get the wrapper off. I basically slip my finger in the little peel thing right there. Bite it and then pull. Just like that. Grab the band-aid. Usually grab like by the gauze part. There we go. So what I do first is I push down on the end that doesn't have the like peel off part sticking up. So that end because this side is sticking up over top of that one. So I'm gonna push down on that one, flip it up, and then pull off that end. And then I flip up the other side, pinch it, push down on the gauze, and then peel that side off. And then you have this. I think it's pretty self-explanatory to say I gotta put on this finger. That's kind of, easy to do with one hand since it's on your other hand. 
But the trickiest part is putting it on the hand that is the only one working. So say I have a boo-boo on my pinky. Say I had a hangnail and I wanted the gauze to be like right there on the top of my nail bed by my cuticle. I would place it down like this. Uh, grab the other side and put it diagonal like this and push it down and then put it down on the on a surface and you could if you want like a less precise application you could just honestly roll it on the counter like that until it wraps all the way around and it's sticking or if you want a more precise application then I usually bite it and put it exactly where I want it so like and then I just like roll it on my face or on my lip to get it to stick down more and there you go you got a band-aid on your pinky <laughs> and that goes for any finger obviously the next thing that I want to show you guys is a I've already showed you how to wrap a towel in your hair. I didn't take into consideration that with curly hair, it's better to use microfiber towels. If you guys didn't know that, now you know. It's better for your curls, the shape, the frizz, everything. Even for straight haired people, microfiber towels is just better for any hair. So you can get these on Amazon. I can link one similar to this one or if I know the exact one on Amazon. I will link that. It's basically like a this kind of shape. Um, it has a button on the big side and a loop on the small side and you'll see why. Basically to do this with one hand I flip all of my hair upside down like this. Grab the button side place it on the nape of my neck kind of just grab the sides and pull them over your hair and kind of just like work your hair into the towel if your hair is longer than the towel like mine is you might want to put it in like a bun first or like a like a pony so you can twist it up. Um, I'm just gonna wing it and twist it and kind of shove it in. <laughs> it's not the easiest thing when you have a lot of hair. But when it's curly, it kind of just stays also. So then I'm gonna grab the side on the opposite side from my working arm. So I'm gonna grab the left side, pull it, across my forehead and pinch the other side to it as long as all the hair is in it. So I'm going to grab this side, pinch it across my forehead to this one, and then I'm going to start um, twisting. Once it's all twisted, you got something like this. We can fix all the stuff hanging out afterwards. So then once you have it like this, you grab the loop in the back. You grab the loop. I like to put my two fingers in it and then feel for the button and push the button through with my thumb while my index finger and middle finger open the loop. And then obviously you can situate this however to get all of your hair in it. And one more thing while I'm in here to show you guys is how I use a loofah. <laughs> I know it sounds silly um, to use a loofah with one hand. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory to do it on your whole body with one hand. But how would you get your right arm if you're holding it with your right hand? <laughs> that is the big question, isn't it? So, what I do is I take the loop on, th this obviously only works if you have a loop on your loofah, so what I do is I take the loop and I put it all the way over my elbow, and 
and then preferably like on top of the arm. And then obviously I just kind of scrub my right arm on it while it's on my paralyzed arm. So that is how I use Lupa. <laughs> obviously you need pretty skinny arms to do this, I guess. Let's start with a loaf of bread. How I would close a bag with bread in it. So first I always make sure obviously the heel is up. Then as quickly as possible, I like to squish down the top of the bag just so that it makes the bread stay put the way it should be. Um, then I just grab the one side, cross it over and just keep Spinning. Sometimes I'll put it in between my legs and spin it like this. We honestly don't keep those like bread bag tabs, like the ones that close the bag. So I just uh, take what I spun, put it underneath, and then when I place it in the pantry, I go like this. And it stays. It's perfect. It's the way I do it anyway. If you have other tips for doing things, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Next, a bag of chips. This is just my chips that I use for my salsa. For this one, I do like to use a bag clip just to really get it good. So first, I always make sure the chips are all the way at the bottom. Then I lay it down on a countertop, flip over one corner like this, and then grab the other corner and flip it down to make if you want to do it perfectly, then it usually makes like a point right here. And then I just grab the top and I flip it down like that. Hold it with my teeth. Just like that. So I fold corner, fold corner, flip down, grab with teeth, grab the clip and clip it. And then it's just like this. Next. I guess I'm gonna have soup for dinner today because this is what I wanted to show you guys. In my cooking tricks video, I showed you guys how I open a can that doesn't have a tab on it like this one does. I use like a battery operated um, can cutter. It kind of just literally cuts it all on its own. It's amazing. If you wanna see that, I'll put the uh, card in the top corner for you to see that video right there. I have to use a spoon. So the way I do this is I take the spoon, put it under the tab like that, grip the can like this, and then pull up on like the stem of the spoon like that until it's like upwards like this. And then I push it all the way over, grab the tab with my finger, push with my thumb on the top and pull and just kind of adjust my hand as I go. Okay, obviously that's not the safest way, but it is kind of hard when you have nails to push down while you're lifting. And my God, that smells really good. Next, a pop can tab. This is pretty much the same thing you could do that. I face the tab like kind of like this. I grip it with the meaty part of my index finger, kind of pull up a little bit until it cracks like that, and then it should be good to go. Push it all the way, and there you go. Mm. I love Dr. Pepper. I feel like that one was a little bit more self explanatory. I feel like a lot of people probably open pop can tabs with one hand, but I don't know, maybe somebody wants to know. I guess that was it for all of the um, things that I conjured up to be in this video. If you guys come up with anything else, I can make a part three. This can be a series in itself, I guess. Um, I did ask you guys over on my Instagram for suggestions on what you guys wanna see me do with one hand. I think I only got one response that I hadn't thought of already. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, follow me on all my socials linked in the description below. And I will see you next week for another new video. Okay, bye.